To have an organisation based in Western Australia who works on the global scale, exporting 80% of their products and services to more than 50 markets, that's something to be very, very proud of. We're Australia's leading provider of medicinal chemistry, so we do a lot of drug discovery, drug development and drug design. I think we were very proud of the fact that we were the only member of the global consortium that remained open during the heart of the pandemic. I pulled my leadership team together and we looked at, okay, so what can we control? What can we focus on? And we set very clear expectations of ourselves and our business. So we shifted all of our budgetary for funding that we normally allocate to travel accommodation incidentals to online marketing. We established business development consultants in both US, Europe and Asia. We moved into a, a series of other community-based involvements, including the manufacture of um, World Health Organization formulation hand sanitizer. And we, and we donated that to the community and, and aged care and healthcare service providers in need. It allowed us to share our capability. We were able to support not only the universities and the businesses in the US and Europe that were unable to open up their laboratories, but, but also when the time came with the second wave in Victoria, we were able to support and some of our Victorian colleagues the other thing that really, really excited me is we had seven gin distilleries who approached us at the time because they were trying to pivot to transferring from gin to ethanol and then to hand sanitizer. So we played a really pivotal strategic role in helping them achieve that as well. Things happen for a reason, I truly believe that. What it's taught us is there is opportunities in times of massive change. And I think it's important for us as leaders and organisations to show the confidence to drive our organisations forward.